Nihonbuyo is a traditional dance practiced in Japan for hundreds of years. Today, we have interviewed Mona Malik Meherban, a Nihonbuyo trainee. We will show you the enthusiasm and excitement of Nihonbuyo. Can you introduce yourself to us? Okay, my name is Mona Maliki Meherban. I am 16 years old and I am a mix of Iran and Japan and I do Nihonbuyo. Nihonbuyo is said to be a field branched out of kabuki in the Edo period. Although kabuki was a profession only allowed to limited people, there was a request by the common people to make it possible for them to also learn Japanese dance. This ultimately led to the extension of Nihonbuyo among the common people. What is Nihonbuyo to you personally? Mm, that's a hard question. I really like Nihonbuyo and it's like... I feel like it's more than just a hobby. You put, well, for my case, I really love it and I try to put a lot of effort in it. Track a lot and mm, watch a lot of videos on Nihonbuyo and learn about new techniques. <laughs> so, mm, it's like a lifestyle kind of. <laughs> How did you know about this and how did it motivate you to start it? How I knew about Nihonbuyo. So there was like a event in the in my community and there a few of my, the elderly people in my community that do Nihonbuyo um, asked if I was interested and I got into Nihonbuyo and then I wanted to do it and that's when I reached out to my teacher who was doing Nihonbyo near my house. How long do you take to wear a kimono? Uh, at first it took me like 30 minutes, but then now that I've worn Nihonbyo for about a year, and I wear it every time before class, so. Now I'm able to wear it maybe under 10 minutes, I'd say. Okay. Mona has been practicing Nihonbuyo for about a year and a half now, and it quickly became her passion. Her classes take place in a community hall near her house, which only takes three minutes by walk. The class is a 101 with her teacher. How often do you practice and how much each time? I try to practice at least three times a week before my class on Saturday. And every time I try to practice for about 40 minutes to an hour. Tessa, what is it? It's a How many kimonos do you want? I don't know. I have a lot of kimonos that I get from. My grandma's friends, because mm. they know that I love, I like Kyoto and I do Nihonbuyo. So yeah, they give me a lot. I don't know. I've lost count. <laughs> yes. Wait, um, what is the hardest thing about Nihonbuyo in general? Um, I think walking. You have to train to walk to put pressure on the bottom of your stomach. I think <laughs> that's what my teacher was saying. And you have to bend your knees. And mm, learning how to walk, which is called suriyashi, where yeah, you move your legs like you're um, going against the tatami, or not the, mm, the tatami, or the floor. Walking, learning how to walk, really hard. Uh, training strict? Um, for my case, my teacher is really nice and I don't think it's that strict. It's actually really fun. 